What's going on? Good afternoon. I am headed to the gym right now. I'm gonna hit a shoulder workout um, and I will see you in a bit. So I was talking to an older man. Started a conversation talking about my camera. He saw my camera and he has one. But long story short, we got into a conversation just about life. And the only reason why I'm interrupting the vlog with this is because it kind of ties into what I said in my last vlog about um, taking that one step. He kept saying how he's so old, but you know, he, he comes to work out and he lives life and he lives it for his family, you know? He lives it for his grandkids, his kids, um, his great-grandkids, and, you know, it, it really inspired me, and it, um, it shared some light into what I was saying yesterday, and I feel like he was there for a reason, we talked for a reason, uh, because of what I said in my last vlog. All in all, what he was saying, just don't take life for granted. Don't think that tomorrow is guaranteed and anything can happen in life you know that was the main point that i really enjoyed talking to him about and there are individuals that live life one step at a time you know for others they, not just for themselves that's a sense of selflessness and i really admire that about a person i really admire this person i will be seeing him at the gym but like i said i will definitely see you guys tomorrow so uh sorry to interrupt the vlog but just wanted to let you guys know and I'm back. Uh, so it is a Saturday uh, morning, and I am on my way to my Theo's house. Uh, right now, he's kind of uh, <clears throat> renovating his house, doing some work to it. So I offered my help to him. Um, so I'm he actually pulling up right now. But before I end this video right here, this is the uh, Theo that um, was the Panthers fan, and they played my Saints last week. And uh, he's still a little salty about it, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna get his reaction today. So, and his oldest son, uh, he's 14, 15 years old, made a bet with me. Whichever team won, the loser had to wear the uh, other team's jersey. So I brought him an extra Saints jersey so I could put it on. Put it on. Put the jersey on. Oh, you saw my post about it. Oh yeah. Come on. Number one. Son. Smile. Number one. Son. Smile. <laughs> Good. All right, you can take it off. No, 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 you can take it off. I want you to wear it from start to finish tomorrow, the game. Okay, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob, tell me about your plane. What kind of plane is it? A 225. 225, what does that mean? It means it's an airplane that's so huge. This is like a... What's that plane right there? A C5 Galaxy from a long time ago. Let's play. Are you following me? Yeah, I'm following you. Right. Where are we going? To the living Huge. So what do you like to do when you come to my house? I like to play video games with your brother and your dad, watch football, oh, yeah, I know what you want. and I like to hear about your planes when you talk to me. Okay, okay. Press that red button to stop. Uh, so we're at Cane's, one of mine and Andrea's favorite places to eat. Uh, we don't go come here quite often because there isn't there isn't one near us, right? No, this is the closest. Yeah, so it's the closest one. We're in Riverside. We drove 25 minutes to come out here just to eat this food. And for those that haven't had it, I suggest you try it. It is very delicious. It's pretty much just chicken fingers and fries. Uh, but it's probably the best chicken fingers and fries that I've ever had in my damn life. So, yep, I'll see you inside. I'm gonna get the Kenya combo. Fire, flame. Enjoy. 
Alright, say hi Cameron. You're on the vlog right now. Hi world. How you doing? What do you have to say? That's the wife. Hi. That's Cameron and Bay. Cameron and Bay. Wait, Cameron where's the Bay. wait, where's the baby? Oh, oh, hold on. Damn. There she is. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Do that one again, dude. I gotta go for it, dude. You have to. Come on, New Orleans. New Orleans. Take that, because it's too loose. Holy shit! No way. That was crazy. Are you serious? Just make the damn tackle. Oh my god, that was bad. All you have to do is tackle him right there and the game's over. Yeah. Oh my goodness. One play. Yes. Oh my god. Wow. Yup. So that was the Saints game. Oh man, you know, I'm still speechless. Oh my goodness, you know. I have no words to express about the Saints game. But it's all right. Uh, Marcus Williams, the player at the end that missed the tackle. Is all you guys are wondering his name. He played a tremendous game. He was a rookie. He was only 21 years old. Oh. It was rough. It was rough. For all you Saint haters out there, who that nation is still strong, so do that next year, bro. So, alright, good luck to the rest of the teams in the playoffs, except for the Vikings. Like I said before in my last vlog, I'm gonna conclude a vlog with a quote. Uh, in today's quote, I posted on Twitter earlier this morning The biggest challenge of life is to be yourself in a world that is trying to make you like everyone else. This quote speaks volumes. I live to this quote um, because I really preach and tell people and Try to make people believe that they need to be themselves. The best version of you is being that person that you know is right deep down inside. And you know, you're not fulfilling your life unless you're yourself. If you be yourself every day and be who you are, if you're goofy, if you're serious, whatever you are, if that's you, then be you. There's no better person than yourself. No one can tell you, oh, I want you to be this way. No. Oh, screw that. Only you can tell yourself who to be and who not to be. And if you live day to day and you be yourself, stay true to yourself and always know that what's inside of you is what matters. Live life being yourself because that is all the only way you're going to live life happy. The only way you're going to get through your work, get through your days, get through school, whatever it is, is by being yourself. Now steal this from a friend. Um, he knows who he is. Uh, it's a quote that he also gave me. It ties into this. But be better than the person you were yesterday. Be better than who you were yesterday. Be better each day after this. I mean, it's just something small. Be better. Be a better version of yourself. All right, peace. Well, good night. Have a good week. Have a blessed week. And don't forget, be yourself. Good night. Okay.